first grade. Happy Tuesday. We're going to start with calendar. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. Let's jump on over to the calendar. Oh, look what I've done. I've added your pennies, tally marks, counters, and straws. How many days have we been in school now? 123. Oh, don't put the and. We want to say 123. If we say and, we might write it incorrectly. 123. So we're going to jump over to calendar math today. So our problem of the day is, what do we need to add to 3 to get 10? So what do we need to add to 3 to get 10? So we have 3 already. How can we make 10? Think about that for a minute. Oh, you have an idea. 7. 7? How did you come up with 7? I counted back from 10 until I got to 3. Ooh, let's try that. So we start at 10. Yes. Okay, let's do it. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Did we land on three? We did. You figured that one out. So I'm going to plug that in here. So we could write that three plus seven equals ten. We fill in our number bond. We've got part, part, whole. So three is the part we knew. 7 was the part we figured out, and 10 was the whole. We'll double check by adding our counters, too. So we have 3, 4, four 5, five six, 6, 7, 8, Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You solved the problem. I want to add an extra equation up here because you solved it a different way. You didn't just use addition, you actually used subtraction. Yeah, so if we start with the whole, with subtraction, we always start with the whole. Ten. We're going to take away the part we already knew, which was? 3. 10 minus 3 equals? 7. Nice job today. I like the way you solved that. It was a little different than we've done before. 